guys, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another video on my channel, or if you're new here, then hello, I'm Jess. On my channel, you can find lots of style bits on focused around easy to recreate timeless outfits. Everything I buy generally tends to be quite timeless and easy to incorporate into your wardrobe and kind of mix and match with everything else. Um, there's also a lot of travel on there, some weekly vlogs and various other bits and pieces. So a bit of something for everyone, but definitely a lot of fashion. So if you're into ways to style and stuff, then it might be for you. Um, today's video is a bit of a collective haul, so we've got different things from different places. I've got a bit of Pretty Lavish, we've got some River Island, we've got some Abercrombie, some Tala, and then some What The Brand at the end, which is a new brand that is gorgeous, and I don't know if you've heard of it, so I thought I would pop it in just to show you the really high quality pieces that they have to offer. Before I jump in though, I am going to apologise, I'm still getting over a cold, so I sound a little bit rusty and it's also a really cloudy day today but the sun keeps coming in and out so just excuse the lighting if it changes ever so slightly throughout this video but let's get on and jump straight in with the first thing so first up we have pretty lavish and this top i have actually shown before on my instagram but i really wanted to include it in this video just in case you haven't seen it yet because it's gorgeous really high quality and it's kind of like a knit vibe but it's not actually knitwear so it's just a thicker rib top which has got the button detailing down the front and really gorgeous for that kind of waistcoat styling so i normally do it with the two buttons and then have it open and i just wear it with various different bottoms for different looks so i've worn it with jeans i've worn it with like tailored trousers etc and it just fits really nicely really really cute and i tend to wear this quite often actually so i really love it and i thought i would pop it in i've got this one in a size small and then the other top from pretty lavish that i haven't got around to wearing yet is this one so it's just a long sleeve kind of seersucker top with the elasticated waistband here and then it's actually got a little string so you can tie it around at the back or at the front depending on what you want to do and just make it look really kind of cute and just add a little bit of something else a little bit of interest um, to get in it's just got a little one button at the back so it's not backless or anything like that but I just thought it was really beautiful to just pair with jeans or something nice and floaty just looks really nice and to be honest I think it'd be so easy to style into summer as well like I thought it'd just be quite a versatile piece to add in so this one is in a UK 10 which is a size up for me and the reason I did that is because I wasn't sure how tight the elastic was going to be so I wanted to make sure it wasn't like really really tight um, but I didn't want it to be too loose either so I think it'll be okay but I just really like it and I love that it's like that soft and neutral tone as well rather than being crisp white then we've got one of the season's must-have items from the good old river island which is very much a brand that i sleep on and i shouldn't because it's such a gorgeous brand and there's some really high quality pieces i definitely prefer browsing them online rather than going into store just because i think their selection is so vast that sometimes when you go into store you're getting like a really minimized version and actually online is way better and sometimes seeing the items styled i in general i think this but online i feel like when you see an item styled up it's easier to think of how it would look in your wardrobe rather than like just seeing it on a hanger if you know what i mean so i picked up this one after seeing it on the website i'm pretty sure they had either like a black or a darker color as well but i just thought the beige was really beautiful this one i've got in a 10 which as i've just said is a size up for me i'm five foot four i'm a uk eight and i just really like the size of it the style of it i just think it's really really cute and it's gone with so many things in my wardrobe already and i just love dressing it up and down especially if it's like tailored trousers or something a little t-shirt or you know just jeans or something many ways to wear and i used to be a really oversized girl like i love a good oversized piece but since I've started discovering these crop jackets, I do like the way that it mixes up an outfit a little bit. And I quite like that where it's cropped, you can still wear like wide leg trousers and stuff and it still cinches you in at the waist a little bit. Then I picked up this little waistcoat. As we can tell, I have a bit of a thing for waistcoats at the moment. I actually, this one's from ASOS and I also own it in the neutral colour, which is really beautiful as well. But I just... I just, I just put it on for this video and realised it actually probably should have been on the rail because I bought them both recently. But this waistcoat is from River Island and I thought it was so nice because it's the kind of thing that could go with tailored trousers or something but equally would look so good as double denim. So like I've got a pair of jeans that are a really similar colour and it looks so cool styled with those. And I recently wore this over a long sleeve roll neck looked so nice for the autumn season it was kind of giving that like academia aesthetic but really really nice i love the braided detailing i love how many outfit options there'll be for this i can literally style this through so many seasons and to me i know this is kind of a trend piece but i would actually wear this and keep this in my wardrobe for a really long time because i can see this in summer with like a satin skirt or you know some little denim shorts or something equally with jeans layering it underneath things like it's just a really gorgeous um little waistcoat and this one is in a size eight and it retails at 30 
39 pounds, which I think is actually a pretty good price for saying this is denim and it's really well made and high quality. Then lastly from River Island, we just have this jacket, which is gorgeous, cropped again with the little gold buttons. This one was 45 pounds and again in a size 10. I do tend to size up in jackets just so I can fit jumpers and stuff underneath, but I really liked this one because it's got the really simple jacket style like it's very much just a simple straight jacket with a little detailing and it just fits really nicely i like that it's kind of that shacket vibe it's just really really cute and it's like a wool as well so really nice and good for the next season as it's getting a little bit colder because there's no point having jackets that are not going to last us through this british winter that we're going to get then from abercrombie i've got quite a selection because i did quite a large order everything on here is actually gifted i think i forgot to mention that but this is all gifted but i did quite a large order from abercrombie and i picked some really gorgeous pieces that i just think are going to be staples one of the things that i really did want to buy was they have like you know the scarf removable scarf coats you can get at the moment like the totem vibes they had one of those it was in gray or camel and it was stunning but it was completely sold out when i wanted to get it so i've got it on tab to keep rechecking and just seeing if it's in, in stock because i think it's the kind of coat where with the scarf is gorgeous, without is gorgeous, and it's quite versatile to add in. But um, this is the first thing that I got. So it's a nice little cropped jumper in a size small, ribbed, beautiful. I love this because it's one of those tops where it's like, it's not, it's not dressy and it's not a jumper, but it's like a nice in between, if you know what I mean. So like, this is a bit more dressed up than wearing a chunky big jumper, but it's also not dressed up much. So you could wear it kind of every day, or you could equally, to be honest, if you're working in the kind of office where you'd be allowed to wear this, this would be a good office one with some high-waisted tailored trousers. Um, but it's really gorgeous, and I wore it in San Francisco and really liked it. Kind of love this cross detailing. And if I remember rightly, I think they do this. I know they do it in multiple colours, but I think they also do a bodysuit version as well. Then we've got the leather trousers that I have worn a bazillion times online already. If you've seen any of my content in the last month, you will 100% have seen these. But I've been saving them in the corner, just making sure I need to do this video. So they have been coming out, they have been worn, but I put them back on the rail for this because I really wanted to show you what they were like and obviously include them in this video. So they are a really gorgeous vegan leather pair of trousers so so nice they do these in the regular or the curve love and honestly chef's kiss i don't need any other leather trousers for the rest of my life because they're so perfect i love the fact they're straight leg i think they're really flattering on the bum if you're needing the curve love collection like i personally don't feel like it works for me because i'm quite straight up and down but if you've got a little bit more hip or a smaller waist or a bigger bum they're really really good because the curve love is kind of shaped for a woman's figure so it's really really nice obviously take that with a pinch of salt because I'm a woman and I have a figure that doesn't fit me but um they also have varying leg lengths so that's really good too and they're called the 90s relaxed high rise they do do these in jeans as well so if you were looking for the same shape in a pair of denim you could get that too then we've got this jumper which I fell in love with and they have it in a few different colors but it's meant to be the perfect slouchy turtleneck and I love that it's called tuckable as well which I thought was quite cool so they've kind of split the hem so that you can tuck it in really easily at the front I love this. I've worn it about four times already and I just can't get enough. I got a medium so it's a little bit bigger and they also have like a beautiful green. There's like, I'm pretty sure there's like a rusty tone. There's a grey, there's black. I'm going to be going back and getting every single one because it's just gorgeous and I really need to up my knitwear game this year because I just don't have that much knitwear. And then lastly from Abercrombie, we just have these navy trousers. Now these are their infamous trousers. Abercrombie's definitely rebranded themselves as being that kind of high street higher price point but really good quality basics kind of shop so i would say that if you want good quality denim or basics absolutely go to abercrombie because they are a little bit more expensive but i definitely think it's worth it so i have two short sleeve bodysuits which i absolutely love in black and white they get worn to death they are the best quality bodysuits i've ever bought and they're double lined honestly perfection i will never ever need to buy another bodysuit like that they are just beautiful i've basically replaced most of my t-shirts and stuff with them they're just so good and these trousers are no different so i got these in a 27 and these are just the navy ones i can't see the name of them anywhere but they're just the really gorgeous tailored trousers they do these in about 70 billion different colors so you can get like camel gray black etc I went for navy because I'm trying to incorporate some more navy into my life and I thought they would just be the perfect little colour to add in to style with black, cream, grey etc because I've kind of got the whole neutral spectrum going on and I just thought I would add in a little bit of something else and just really try to love navy because I think it would suit me. I just have never really dabbled in it because I never know how to style it but 
I thought I'd give it a go and these trousers are a classic. I had them in black too, so I know they're a winner and I just really love them. But again, as I say, really recommend checking out Abercrombie for those basics because even things like knitwear, they've really nailed it with just hitting the perfect silhouettes that will suit pretty much everybody. And they also do really good dresses and stuff as well. So if you've got kind of evening events coming through to the festive season, they're really good for that too. Then moving on, we've got a little bit of Tala. And one of the items is actually missing, but we'll get to that in a minute. I think it's in the wash or it's in the washing, but um, we're gonna we're gonna just gloss over it because I've got one of the other pieces in this video. But um, Tala kindly gifted me a few different bits and I'm a bit of a sucker for Tala, I'll be honest. I love their active wear. I have a few of the shorts and different bits and pieces like sports crops and stuff. Love it all, I think it's great quality. I've also got the bandeau dresses. I've got a skirt and top, like everything they do that I have tried, I really, really like. I think the quality is great. So they sent me over a few pieces like this hoodie, which I think is lovely. So it's just got Tala on the front and then obviously the little embroidered writing. Really nice and big and cosy. I got this in a medium, expecting it to not be that oversized of a fit. And it is definitely an oversized fit. So I would say get true to size. Uh, don't size up to get a more oversized fit because honestly, like it's just, it, it fits really well. Um, but I maybe should have gone to get a small because I think this is a little bit big for me um, But I really like it because it's quite nice and slouchy and it reminds me of my Annie Bing jumper Which I really like and you know the one that everyone's got that just says yoga on the front So I think it's gorgeous and really nice quality nice and not too thick It's kind of like it's soft inside, but it's quite a nice like almost like the thinness of a toweling sweatshirt but with a little bit of fleece so it's not too chunky then we've got a little zip up jacket which i believe is a dupe of the lululemon ones and i'm so here for it because it's really comfortable and my favorite part is it's got a zippable pocket on the back so when i go for runs and stuff in winter i can just put my phone in there and this is perfect so i can just unzip it or tie it around my waist etc i've actually <laughs> i went for a run the other week and i had this on and i basically unzipped it to like kind of here and then I basically just pulled the arms off and tied it around my waist like a running belt because then the phone was still in the back and like not like hanging down and flapping and stuff. So I really love it. This is a size small and it's honestly the most comfortable thing ever. Super flattering. I genuinely cannot rave about this highly enough. I'm so glad I got it and I think it's just great for those athleisure days or if you are actually planning on working out and doing like a run or something. Not necessarily something you'd need to go to like the gym. I know people have been working out in the flares. I personally don't get it because I don't think they're the great thing to work out in. I feel like they're more like a chill around like athleisure kind of wear but um really really nice and i absolutely love it and i feel like it is a dupe of the lulu ones but that one definitely is a little bit more affordable and the fit is just 10 10. then i've got this little cropped number which is again in a size small this is so so blooming cute it's just like a little v-neck little vest i don't know how to describe it other than that but it's really really cute it's in the soft gray and they do this in several colors it's just honestly so nice so comfy but i really love it i think it's just a gorgeous fit and i highly recommend the tyler crops i wear them to the gym although i don't know if i'd wear this one because i don't know if it would be that supportive but i do think it'd be nice just as athleisure and then as i said a minute ago i do have something missing which is a pair of flares and i've got one pair to show you but the other pair were the black like straight across ones um these are the gray wrap waist ones and i absolutely love them the one thing i will say is don't wear dark colored underwear because you can see it the gray ones have the wrap waist and they are just a really nice flared bottom they fit really beautifully really great length and really nice buttery soft quality i highly recommend these they're actually my favorites over adenola and lululemon i own both and i actually think i would say i prefer these if i was to buy another pair of flares 100 percent i'd go to tala honestly highly recommend the flares like i said i have pairs from adenola and lululemon and i genuinely think that i would still go to tala through and through i just really like them the black pair i've got are just classic black with like a normal waistband so just classic flares i just think they are either in the wash machine or they are about to be washed so i can't show you right now but Last but not least, I wanted to share What The Brand with you, which is a really gorgeous brand created by influencer duo We Are Twin Set. Honestly, the quality is unreal. So I've had a couple of pieces from them in the past. I've got like a really beautiful white summer dress um, and a little like top with a asymmetric -y neck line. I can't, God, I'm so, can you tell I'm tired today? Um, so I thought I'd show you the two bits that I've got from their autumn winter capsule collection. So first up is this jumper, which I think is beautiful. It's quite a nice lightweight knit. So this isn't too thick. Um, I really like it because it's just not like super chunky. You know, when sometimes jumpers are just a bit too chunky, this one's quite nice because it's a little bit thinner and it's also got quite a loose fitting um, hem as well. So it's easy to tuck or just leave over things. And this one I have in a size extra small 
Um, but it looks quite nicely oversized actually, I think it'll be a really good fit and I like that the sleeves are quite loose and wide just so that when it's on it won't be too like tight or anything like that. I really really like it, I think it's gorgeous. And they did have this I believe in like the white with the black stripes but I just really liked black with the white. And then last but not least I have a tracksuit which I believe is sold as separates but I thought I would show you because it's so comfy. I wore this up to Snowdon on the weekend and genuinely think this is going to be my next outfit for when I get on a plane because it's so cosy and warm and comfortable. But this is what the jacket looks like. So we've just got classic hoodie here, really beautiful oversized fit, really simple branding on the front and it's a gorgeous oatmeal colour but so so soft and comfortable the fits quite nicely oversized as well but it's got the tighter waistband so you can roll it up so it doesn't look like too big and baggy and then inside it's got this gorgeous soft fleece it's so so nice i am kind of trying to minimize my sweatshirts and hoodies collection at the moment and all my tracksuits and stuff and trying to really get to that core few tracksuits that i can keep and then maybe like the odd sweatshirt and hoodie and stuff on the side but like really get to that core collection so that i've got some really good quality amazing pieces and then get rid of everything else and sell it on vintage but this is definitely one that's going to be going into that core collection because it's so nice and comfy and then the sweatpants and then the sweatpants are obviously the same color you've got the same branding just on the pocket here they've got a nice waistband it's not the kind of waistband that i love i quite like the ones that are kind of like this but on a waistband if that makes sense but it is really flattering and i like that you can fold it over as well and it doesn't look awkward or anything um, but like I showed you a second ago so they've got the little cuffed hems these are so comfortable and one of the main reasons I wanted to show you is because I really hate when you have sweatpants and on one wear you sit down for like 15 minutes or something and then you've got baggy knees the bum goes a bit saggy and they just look a bit naff well I wore these for a total of about five and a half hours on a journey up to Snowdon last weekend and I don't know if you can see this but the knees are not baggy at all there's no bag like normally if i hold them up like this they just bag out a little bit no baggy knees no baggy bum the fit is just like a really gorgeous oversized kind of like 90s vibe which is what i love i imagine these are the kind of sweatpants that i'm gonna wear when i'm like a cool mum on the school run and i can just chuck on like a big puffer coat and a t-shirt or something that's kind of the vibe i feel like or to be honest i actually just did film a waist of style which is like these were some Ugg Tasmans and then a leather jacket and a t-shirt and it looked really nice. So highly recommend getting your hands on a pair of these. I honestly can't rate the brand enough. I'm so obsessed not only with the girls and their podcast and everything but also with their clothing brand because it's just beautiful and their style is very much similar to mine where it's very timeless and classic. So all of the pieces they sell are pretty similar to that too which is... 10 out of 10 perfection but that's it for the haul video guys i hope you enjoyed seeing everything that i've got i'll try and do cutaways for as many items as i can but if there wasn't a cutaway please just know that it's because i'm super busy at the moment because there's lots of new launches and things coming if you don't know already i have a podcast called the good vibes club we're doing events and stuff over there at the moment there's also weekly podcast episodes alongside some other bits coming soon so it's very 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 full on at the moment there's a lot of stuff happening but hopefully you enjoyed this video and i can't wait to see you in my next one don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe hit the notification bell if you want to know when i upload and i'll see you in my next one bye guys <laughs>